Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, I'm back with a new palette to me. Um, it's actually been out for a couple of months, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a look with it. Um, like I said, it's new to me. I just picked it up. So to go ahead and get started, as far as my primer, I used the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil with the SPF 50. And it does give me um, a little bit of moisture, which is actually what I need at this point in my life. And I went ahead and used House Labs uh, Triclone Foundation. I actually use Fair Cool, which is shade uh, 50. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the bronzer, my current favorite is the MAC. This is the Radiant uh, Light Rosy. So that's what I have on there as far as the bronzer today. And I do have the newer Wet n Wild products um, on my cheeks as well. So Wet n Wild just came out with an Alice in Wonderland collection. This is uh, Talk to the Flowers, which is their blush palette, which looks like this. And this is a um, highlighter in here. And then you have three different blushes, two of which have some sparkle in them. And um, yeah, I went ahead and used this uh, right on the top of the cheeks and then this right below it and the MAC bronzer right below that. So if you remember way back in the day when we had those CoverGirl uh, cheekers that had the highlighter, the medium shade, and then the dark shade, yeah, it's the same thing, it's just with uh, more packaging. <laughs> so. Um, that's what I went ahead and did there. And then Alice in Wonderland, this is Curiouser and Curiouser. And this is the highlight palette. So I just went ahead and swirled my brush into everything except for the gold uh, to go ahead and get my highlighter. I also added in a little bit of the ColourPop uh, Seismic as well. So that's what I have on the middle of my face. So on the chin, uh, the lip, and right on the nose. And there was a little bit of talk about this particular packaging and had Wet n Wild done it before. And yes, they did. They have an illuminating palette. Uh, this one, I think you can still get at Walgreens and that kind of thing. Oh, great. And part of it, I just have part of it here. But as you can see, it's just about on its last, yeah, it's past its last legs here. Um, but it did have a champagne, a pink, a dark pink, and then sort of a nude rose. Oh, maybe a, well, what would you call that? I guess it would be more of a rose gold. So this is more of a rose gold. So all of these were pinky kind of shades. And then in this new one that they did with their, uh, with the Alice in Wonderland, um, you have a gold on this side and a blue. So you don't have the same colors. And this one is actually a little bit smaller as well. But uh, this fun collection, you can get this one over at Target. Um, you can order it off of the Alta or off of the Wet n Wild website. I think it's going to be coming into a couple of the stores. I don't know whether it's going to be Walgreens or CVS or whatever. But it's really a cute little, cute little collection there. And um, let's see, what else did I do here? Uh, the palette that's new to me is the Blue Velvet. Anybody remember that song from way back when? That was such a sexy song. And um, anyway, <clears throat> back to here and now. Yeah, um, so this is Blue Velvet. And what I did was I went ahead and I put this one in the crease. I blended it um, on top of it with this one. Uh, this is a really amazing color. It comes off white here, but it's actually a duochrome that goes uh, white to blue. And it's really pretty. I have it down here, all the way up here, and then over. So I have it like encircling the eye look kind of thing. And it is just, I don't know if it'll show up here, but we'll just watch if it's see. 
So can you see that a little bit? Maybe it would be better if I did down here. Yeah, it is the white blue, but it isn't showing up nearly as well as it does up in the eye. Um, let's see, I did go ahead and put this one on the lid, and then I went ahead and put this one on the outer corner. As far as what I did for eyeliners today, um, I went ahead and grabbed the Emeride ones, and um, yeah. Emerite and one Colourpop one. Uh, so these are what I went ahead and used for the eyeliner. Um, I used this one, yeah, this one right here, from the inner corner to right about the middle, and then these two from the middle right about to the outside. This is how uh, the look came out. So it's a fun, really blended blue look, and it is really, really uh, it, yeah, it's not bright, but it's intense, and those blues go really dark and really intense, and um, even darker, um, what's the other one? It's not blue, blue moon. Blue moon is the other one that they have, and I think this one is more intense than blue moon. It really is a lot of pigment in every single shade with this one. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I took the brows up, and I used the e.l.f. brow lift to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, it's a clear gel. Um, I haven't tried it against the Anastasia clear brow gel, but I hear that it's just as good. And um, But again, I haven't tried that, so I don't know. And then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop. This is their Glowing Lip in Lavender. And then I went ahead and put the next fat oil with that. So that's how the lip look came out today. And yeah, I think it came out really pretty. Um, again, like I said, I'm just playing with this one for the first time. I haven't used it before. Uh, deep, dark, saturated colors in here. And... Um, as far as what else that I've been using, I would definitely go ahead and recommend these. Not only is the packaging really fun and the Disney packaging, but the products are really good. And if you appreciate Wet n Wild, you really love these. Even if you don't try them, because they're fun. And uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, I think that's about all I did with this look. Uh, yeah. That's about it, other than I did use uh, the Sky High by Maybelline and the Essence Volume Stylus. These two work together to give you really, really long uh, lashes. And so, as you can see, I'm playing with how I can make my brows and my eyelashes as uh, thick and long as possible. So, uh, next, the Thicket Stick It. And this one's in Cool Ash Brown. And um, other than that, I think that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some ideas. And um, these, uh, these palettes are the new ones that are over at Target as well. And so ColourPop just moved into Target. So you can get ColourPop at Ulta, at Target, and on the website. And I think that's about it. And uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye.